Welcome back to another back page gaming video. Today we are looking at another prime icon once again. It is Luis Figo. Some love him, some hate him, some call him a traitor, some call him a hero. We're going to find out whether I find him to be a hero or not. Rob's going to be asking me some questions. I'm going to rate the card at the end. Robbie, let's get into it. Yeah, let's do it. It's the second prime icon right winger that we've actually reviewed. First being Garinchus. If you've not yeah. seen that, go check it out. Also, if you're not subscribed, do it. By the time this is out, I'm not sure if we've hit 1.9k. Hopefully we have, but thank you for all the support. Let's keep it going. Jack, it looks like a very good card on the face of it. On the face of it, I think, is the kind of the, the most key thing you could have said there, Rob. Yeah. I saw this card, and I'm, I feel like Figo's always a little bit slept on, isn't he? People yeah, definitely. People always a bit like, oh, yeah, he's got good stats, but no one ever really uses him. And yeah. after having used this card, I can see why, in a way... Yeah, he's in not as used, as used perhaps as like someone like Best or, or Grinch or something like that. Yeah, um, um, exactly those two type of cards, really, to be honest. A yeah. uh, little spoiler alert. We did, Jack has reviewed him a little bit on the Average Foot Guys podcast. If you do want to yeah. listen to us on a podcast, we'll put the link down in the description. And go uh, go give those guys a listen. But yeah, it's an interesting card, like you said. I mean, his stats are really, really good. But like, what were your first impressions? Like your, your first handle with this card, I suppose. Yes. I thought, okay. His shooting's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's starting good. Yeah. Um, and then I thought, it's dribbling. You know, this is this is good. This is okay. This is good. Yeah. Passing, good. This is good. Pace, good. And that's kind of where it stopped, really. Um, yeah. I think this is a good Just card. Just good, not great. Yeah, it's like, you know when you're using a card and you're kind of, you're waiting to get used to them, in a way. You yeah. Know, like you, you feel like they've got some raw talent that you can, you know, Turn into a diamond or something, yeah. you know. He, he turned into he's, a prime like frim pong. A, yeah, he's like a like a lump of coal. I'm, yeah, you know, we just need some pressure to make him into a diamond. But sadly, um, he's just a lump of coal. Really, bless him. A good oh. lump of coal, <laughs> nevertheless. Um Because yeah. he did score me about fifteen goals in seven games, so maybe yeah. I'm being a bit harsh. But he just feels like one of those players that he's a good player. He's just good. I think he's going to be the 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 theme of the review. Yeah. Um, I'll speak about some of the things that I did really like about him, though. Okay. His shooting, Robbie. Yeah, it's not all negative. Um, yeah. No, definitely not. Um, his shooting is really, really good. He had some really strange animations, which okay. were more helpful, to be honest with you, than in the hindrance way? for once. Like, you'll see in the clips, guys, but he just looped it over the keeper sometimes. He absolutely spanks them from outside the box. His shot is the best thing about him, by far. Yeah, um, not surprising, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. He felt like he had a five-star wiki. He was really... He was just impressive. He just really felt like a striker. Do you know what yeah. I mean? He felt like an out-and-out -out striker. Yeah. And I think that's maybe one of the things that actually contributed to me not absolutely falling in love with the card, the fact that he is just an out-and-out -out striker. Do you not think he's a cam? You know, he's got really good passing. For me, mate, no. Um, okay. Is that because of the lack of five-star? or the lack of, Maybe the lack of 5-5 five five or, yeah. or one of the fives, I should say. He's not. He doesn't feel the fastest, which I quite like a fast cam. Um, yeah. But mainly the dribbling. Um, I think for me, when I've got a cam, I want them to be nice on the ball. I like Cantona on the ball. Um, and he's better than Figo on the ball, which is a crazy is thing to say. Yeah. yeah. I think Figo really suffers from um, his body type being average. average. Yeah. He's 5'11 as well, which, I mean, albeit it is the height that I am, but it's, on FIFA it's a bit of an average height and it's sort of in between. Yeah, he's not quite nippy and short and it's yeah. not quite tall and strong. It's just... Did he have the P word? No, he didn't have presence, mate, sadly. Oh, um, that's a shame. He's, he's yeah. For a Christmas. 900k, 800k card, you want him to have a bit yeah. of P, don't you? That's the thing. Oh, definitely. I, have, you know, I wish he had the P. His yeah. big P. Um, <laughs> the thing that really does hold him back, Robbie, is his price. Um, yeah, another P. Yeah, it is. God damn. Five Ps. <laughs> um, but if he was a lot cheaper, you know, I'd be much more positive about him. Because, like I say, his shooting is amazing. Yeah. His passing was good, but it was the lack of dribbling that kind of made it hard to get. You know, you, you know, like when you get really good passes with Neymar or someone, because it's it's easy to maneuver them into the position to make the pass. Isn't yeah. It? For Figo, he just feels. I'm not going to say clunky because he's not. Um, he just doesn't feel as good as those guys, which is a shame when you're spending what 500k more than Neymar is. Yeah. But why do you think he is so expensive? Just icon, or it's just simply because he's a prime icon, yeah. and there's not many of them, I don't think. Um, yeah. He's not that much of a massive upgrade on his mid, and he's 400 more k. 
Yeah, I, I, without having used his mid, yeah. um, I will say it's probably not worth it. I mean, I would have probably just used his mid if I really wanted to use Vigo. Yeah. I would have got his mid, but I thought, you know, we'll review a card that's got great stats, but yeah, it feels like in a way almost he does live up to them, but he just doesn't excite me. Um it's just that's maybe he doesn't no he doesn't live up to much he doesn't feel like 92 pace really? uh, his shooting feels like better than 88 yeah it's the dribbling mate honestly the, the, it's just underwhelming yeah underwhelming that's I think surprising. when I used because his yeah, stats are really good they are they're fantastic the like 91 is, agility yeah curse with the I body don't type think it's, I think it is the, the body type yeah because I've yeah. not got a problem with low balance players like uh Composure at 83 surprises me because he felt pretty clutch. Um, yeah. He's got God like 95 dribbling, does. 93 ball control. They're not bad. They're, they're insane. I'm about to say they're yeah. not bad. I mean, for they're God's really sake, good. it's 95. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he just. He was just lacking that something to really, you know, to really blow me apart. away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, you know, we'll go into the end card in just a couple of minutes, but it wasn't as though he was bad at all. Um, speaking of the end card, we'll, we'll go into it because it makes it a bit easier to talk about. I gave yeah. him a nine, Robbie. That's all um, right, but for an 800k card, you want more, don't you? Yeah, um, he's really good, and I think if I got him out of an icon SPC, I wouldn't be mad. Um, yeah, you'd take I it, think, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Do yeah, you coming off, in, uh, probably not. Um, right. Coming on as a sub, though, I think he'd be really good. Yeah. Um, and just as a, like a backup right winger, he'd be really handy. Mm. I mean, to put it in perspective, I've got that numbers up D Maria untradeable. I'd probably prefer to use him. Really? really? Even with a two star? Yeah, even thought. with a two star. Yeah, D Maria is just unbelievable on the ball. He's absolutely yeah. disgusting. Um, value for coins is a four, though, and I think that's me being pretty kind. Yeah. Um, he has a lot of money. Yeah, he's a lot. And like I say, you could get him, you could even get Mbappe for this price, which is, yeah. you know. I would prefer Mbappe every single day of the week over this um, over this Figo. Yeah, I'm um, just looking at other popular players like Ronaldo is only three. Ronaldo is probably the most similar player in terms of feel on the ball, actually. That I've really? used. Yeah, okay. he, he really does feel like Ronaldo, but without the five star. Which now that I think about it, that's probably this what the thing the problem is. Yeah, that holds him back. Yeah, yeah. If he did have five stars, but you know, I'd be looking at this card differently. But he'd probably be also a bit more expensive. Um, Best chem style. This is now. This could be an interesting one. Hunter, okay. probably. I used Hunter on him. Yeah. Um, I think he. I don't know. I, I didn't use engine on him. I must admit, because I thought I'd keep the Hunter because it make him a bit easier to sell. But yeah. Um, engine would be an interesting one because it boosts his balance up by ten. Yeah. Um, that might make well his agility a bit better. And a bit of dribbling. It might have done, but for me, I really felt like he needed that ninety nine ninety nine pace, bro. Yeah. I know it's only a little bit more, but for me, he needed it. Um, maybe the shooting wasn't, you know, as required. <clears throat> yeah, I, the day that there's a pa uh, pace and dribbling chem yeah, style, that'll be good. oh lord, that's yeah. going to be so. Ex that's why it's going to be extinct. Like Shadow yeah, it will. and Hunter and that. But um, I remember when like Shadows were like 25k. That was strange. How did we used to pay time. that? Yeah, that's yeah. Ridiculous. What the hell? That's insane. But yeah. Um, engine. I think if you if you do need to use him at cam, I think engine would be the uh, the move. Yeah, get the pass out a little bit. But yeah, he's he's just underwhelming. Um, okay. Not that he's bad at all, but he's just not quite carling. You know what I mean? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. I mean, it's one of them. I don't think you'd go out and buy him, would you? He's one that if you get him from an icon pack, you'd be sort of happy. But yeah, like yeah. you said. I mean, to put into perspective. Um, Middle Grincher is only 200k more. Yeah. And if you want an icon, right winger, I'd say he's an infinitely better yeah. choice. You had him last year, didn't you? I did. Um, absolute goat, quite literally. Literally, um, yeah. The fucking I mean, even, goat, I guess you could say. Oh, Lord. Um, even Baby Grincher is seven, like 100k cheaper on Xbox anyway. Would you rather use him? Yeah, probably. Yeah, um, yeah it's. I can see now why people don't use him. Not that he's a bad player, but th there's just a lot of better alternatives. Yeah, a bit mid. And that he, yeah, genuinely. Uh, it's funny that into the prime's mid, but yeah, <laughs> um, he's just he's missing on that that cutting edge to really set him apart. Best links though. This is one thing where he does kind of excel. Yes. Um, it, there's quite a few. I picked out. I didn't pick out the boring old Ronaldo one. Everyone knows that one. I went for the numbers up Felix. Oh yeah, I think he, these two would be yeah. up top. Would be a really nice combination. A point as well, though. I'm, I do wonder if maybe if I'd not used Cantona, um, 
if I'd use like Figo as my one more, as my only kind of yeah. clunky um, attacker, maybe I would have gone with him a bit better. Yeah. But I don't think so, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Cantonari is better on the ball than him. Yeah. Uh, I've gone for numbers up Yotta. Two numbers up cards. Probably the, Yotta's really good as well. The Two of the three good cards, really, in that yeah. promo. Um, Cancelo? And then I, I thought about it, but I thought with it being a right winger, I went, oh no, that the real right, back. right wing back. Yeah, bro, uh, I went for Semedo. I'd already made the end card by the time I'd, oh. um, he come out. But, Cancelo robbed. Yeah. Um, cry in the comments if you want, but for me, Cancelo, you know, is, is equally a good choice he's yeah. actually quite a banging car really for 260k very good card yeah um, obviously he's, he's Portuguese there's there's Ronaldo there's Renato if you use oh, him yeah, off Kem one. you could get um, Thiago Diallo, Diallo yeah, my yeah. boy my boy um, on Kem but to me lads this is one to stay clear of not a bad card but just one that you you know bit he's lacking. good yeah. yeah fair enough yeah any uh, final final thoughts no mate why didn't you uh, sign us out of here yeah so if you've enjoyed that you want to see some more of us hit the subscribe button hit the like button go follow us on twitter tiktok instagram and twitch as well down in the description twitch you say yes streams coming very soon we're hoping to uh, up and running sort of I don't know sometime this week hopefully Jack hopefully yes team yeah. of the year is going to be the, the official launch though yeah. of the backpage gaming streams it is going to go off yes so go follow and us speaking of there. We've just hit 1,900 subscribers we? as we've while making this video. This video. Yes. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. Thanks Thank you. So much, guys, for the support. 2K! It's gonna, it, before before February? It's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, Why let's not? do it. Let's do it. That's the goal. That's the goal. Why not? Make sure to sub down below, ladies and gents. But until next time, I've been Jack. I've been Robbie. And we've been Backpage Gaming. We will see you in the next one. See you later.